Hadil Ibrahim, CBC. Thank you. Um, for Dr. Shepard or Minister, uh, uh, sorry, for Dr. Russell or Minister Shepard, can yeah. you explain a little bit about what impacts you think this rollout will have on general population spread and hospitalization numbers? So the whole um, idea of vaccinating as many people in uh, as many as the, high the highest percentage possible of our population uh, is key to trying to uh, keep numbers of cases down, which then translates into a lower number of hospitalizations. And so we would not expect to see a, a, a large number of uh, children that would be requiring hospitalization. But we do know that, um, again, people uh, of any age, um, whether they're vaccinated or not, can transmit, but it's much, much, much lower with uh, two doses of the vaccine on board. So anything and everything that we can use uh, with respect to trying to keep hospital hospitalizations low, uh, community cases low, uh, that is that is the purpose of what's happening right now. And, uh, and again, protecting children from the risks of hospitalization, but also from long-term effects of COVID. And, and so protecting children would also then uh, reduce the general population spread and hospitalization numbers, right? Yeah, exactly. So people who are double vaccinated, it reduces your risk of actually getting COVID in the first place by about 25%. So your your risk of contracting COVID in the first place, your risk of transmitting is lower. So, and again, with the Delta variant and other variants uh, that may emerge, we do need to take advantage of all of those opportunities, no matter how small a fraction we're looking at, we, we do need to continue to try to look at those numbers and keep them as low as possible. Ms. Ibrahim, you. do you have a follow quick quick follow-up? Yes, 